<clears throat> Hi guys, I'm back again. <sighs> okay, well, firstly, yesterday's vlog was a bit of a rant, wasn't it? Um, and I think that's because I frightened myself a little bit. I really didn't expect the scales to read that heavy, even though I've been tracking and keeping, you know, half an eye on what things are doing. Um, but it's all very positive. I feel as though I have reached a stage where I can identify that A, I'm a very emotional eater and that I have been self-medicating with food for at least the last decade, if not longer, and that Enough is enough. It's time for all of that to finish. What you see here in front of you, it's not me. It, it is me, but it's me hidden away underneath all of this. And um, it's time to chip away at everything and let the real me shine. Now I'm doing a video outside, not very exciting, it is my yard again, but the snow is melting, the sun is out, the sky is beautiful blue, look at the sky! And spring is definitely on its way. I'm so excited for in bulk, I really can't wait for it to get here, I just, I really feel as though it's going to be a new start. Um, yeah. So, anyway, back to the weight issues. I today I've started. I'm I'm back on all of the different tablets that I'm supposed to be taking. Um, I've tried to get an appointment with my GP and failed miserably because that's how the GP system works here in the UK. You ring up and they say no, and you end up just only being able to get emergency appointments which is ridiculous so I haven't got an appointment with my GP but I do need to make one for the reason that I have polycystic ovarian syndrome and when I was diagnosed with MS last year between us the GP and I sort of decided that we were going to stop all of my my treatments and stop with the weight loss attempt. I wasn't really making a very wholehearted attempt at it anyway. And um, that it was all, all just going to stop and we'll concentrate on the MS and get to grips with the fact that I've just been diagnosed with MS. So now, really, I want to revisit that and go back and I want a referral to an endocrinologist. Um, but first, I need to see my GP which could be a challenge, apparently. So, that's where we are with that. Um, I've started taking the Orlistat again, which you just need to Google it. Maybe I'll do a video about it separately. But the Orlistat is, it basically stops your body from absorbing the fat from anything that you consume. And, of course, then dispels it from the body in a most unpleasant manner um, and I didn't take them I have a stock of them because I wasn't taking them because it was so awkward and now I've just I think it's awkward injecting yourself three times a week so um, I think I just need to grow a set really <laughs> get on with it so I'm back on those I have a very small stash of metformin and this is where this this is why I need to see my GP. The pharmacist, even though it's on my repeat prescriptions, the pharmacist will not issue the metformin without a nod to go ahead from the GP, which means I have to get an appointment with the GP in order to get back on my metformin. So I'm tentatively starting with and finishing off what I've already got. Um to give myself a bit of a head start but 
yeah, I need, I need the GP's approval because otherwise I'm not going to get any more metformin. And the metformin is usually prescribed for type 2 diabetes, but off-label use can be taken by those with PCOS because those with PCOS tend to have insulin resistance. And I do have insulin resistance, so that's to help with that. <coughs> what else? And I'm back on my water tablets because I suffer very badly from fluid retention. Um, I'm hoping that that will actually sort of resolve itself as well because I am a firm believer that fluid retention stems from having a lot of salt and things like that in your diet. And as much as I'd like to say, oh, I haven't been having a lot of salt and we all eat natural, you know, not going to lie, there have been takeaways after takeaway in, you know, on processed foods. So that's probably where the fluid retention issue. However, just to help myself along, I'm back on my fluid, uh, my water pills. I'm going to rattle, actually. I won't have space for food, the amount of medicine. Obviously, I'm still on the the stuff I take for my MS, the gabapentin. Um, I'm on propanolol for the anxiety <laughs> issues. I'm just, wow. I'm like a drugstore, a mobile drugstore. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I mean, today, so far, it's about 20 past two, and I have consumed a Sainsbury's Express porridge, apple and cinnamon flavour, which I only actually managed to eat half of. I really need to improve on eating breakfast, that is also key and I basically haven't eaten breakfast for the last decade regularly so that's going to be a, an interesting habit to break. Um, so I managed about half of that and then I have just eaten and I'm very happy from having done so, um, a jacket potato with half a tin of Heinz baked beans and one ounce, 25 grams of um, cheddar cheese. I was good in the way that I did not put butter on the baked potato. That's a plus point because normally I'd also put butter on it. Um, so there's that. And then this evening um, I think we're having salmon with vegetables so that will be good. And probably not many carbs actually. I'm going to try and monitor the carbs. Anyway, that's how I'm going today and I just kind of wanted to come on and, and apologise for ranting at you all in such a dramatic way. But I think it was just so shocking to me and I think I had a bit of an epiphany. And you caught the brunt of it. So, let's watch this space. But hopefully there'll be a shrinking me in it very soon. And someone who's a bit more well put together. Thanks for watching guys, blessed be.